Hi, I'm Adam Mattis. We're here at Demo Days. We're actually showing a really nice machine that we have here in stock. We carry a lot of different mills, as you can see. Have a many different A-Trumps and all the different configurations from a basic knee mill all the way up to a full machining center. This is actually a bed mill, an A25T, made by this company, A-Trump. They've been in business for many, many years. Stand by their products and they're local to us. Uh, you'll notice a few things on this mill. Uh, we're going to go over a few different options between this one and another one. I want you to meet Andrew Glover. He's actually from A-Trump. He's going to go ahead and show us how to use some of the machine, tell us a few specifications on it. Uh, the bed mill on this is actually a 10 by 54 table, so it's a large table. You'll see most of the mills out there are going to be 9 by 49 or 9 by 42. Now there's a few things that make this different from a standard knee mill, which most people know as a Bridgeport mill. Uh, we'll, we'll look at a few of these. So Andrew, I notice on here, this particular machine has large uh, box way, so it's more of a square way. You can see right here it's actually square, as opposed to the, the Bridgeport style over here, which is more of a knee mill, and it's going to have what they call a dovetail way, uh, which is kind of a triangular pattern. You'll see this is a little bit of a smaller table on it. Uh, what would, one of the differences and the real benefits of having a box way versus a, a, a dovetail? It would allow you to put more weight on Adam, as well as putting the, um, the rigidity of the cut so that you can take a bigger cut to save less time, which equals more money. So I know these are two different size mills, and there's a, little, there's a lot to compare, actually, between them to kind of know where you're going from step up. A lot of customers of ours start with maybe a mill drill, which is the most basic, small type of mill you can have. They move into a, a knee mill, which is more of the Bridgeport style, and go into the, the three axis or two axis CNC knee mill, then you would probably move up to the bed mill. So this is going to be the largest type of mill aside from going into the full size machining center which would be a totally uh, enclosed item. On this bed mill, the table here capacity is, what was the table capacity on this deck? 1,100 pounds Adam. So 1,100 pounds to put onto this table which you could be milling around obviously and that's why it's going to be, the bed mill is going to be a little bit heavier duty as opposed to the uh, standard Bridgeport knee mill style, which is in the 600 pound range. Um, I want to go ahead and run a few things on this thing. Let's see how quiet everything is, how easy it is to pull up the computer. Okay. Uh, nice, big, giant screen I see here. It's color. 15 inch LCD color, Adam, okay. using the Centroid Control M400i. So right now we have it in the, a manual mode, which is a really nice thing about this mill. Now this mill you can use in a, in a variety of different ways. So it's a three axis CNC mill or it's a two axis with a manual pull down. So right here you can use it. You can go ahead and set it up to do two axis, your X and your Y. It'll move to each station of where you need it. Then you go ahead and pull down and you'll go ahead and hit to, for your Z. Otherwise, you can use the whole entire mill as a full CNC mill the head's going to go up and down, do your own drilling, you won't have to use this at all, and it'll be a complete three-axis CNC mill. There's one other configuration that you can use on it. If you want to just jump into it and use it as a manual mill, you just go onto the control here, turn it into manual mode, and then you can actually use the X, Y, and Z as a, just a standard manual mill, so anybody that you got can just run up to the machine, do a quick part if you have to, you wouldn't have to program anything, which is not a really long process, but sometimes most guys know how to just jump into it and do a manual style, like they probably learned in the beginning of their process. So right now we have the speed changer on the machine, and the machine actually, you change all the speeds from here. You notice on all the other machines, there's different types on the head that's gonna allow for a quicker speed change. Right here, you're just gonna increase it with the touch of a button. Now to go ahead and move it into the X and Y if you wanted to use it into this manual mode. You can go ahead for setup, moving the table X and Y, everything's controlled here on the controller. Of course you can change your speed. They use the simple turtle and uh, rabbit method, just change your speed to go quicker or slower for your feet. 
Now, Andrew, can you go ahead and set this up? We set up a, a simple pattern in here. It's just going to show you graphing-wise what it's going to do, and it's going to go ahead and move all three axes to show you exactly how it works. Yes, what definitely. What do we need to do to get that into the uh, First, we're going to stop the spindle up here, and then we're going to press cycle start. Start, it comes up, make sure you have the right item. And then go ahead and press start. Step back and make sure it's going to work. You notice the head's going to go up to its home position. And now it's going to come down to where we have everything programmed. Right here it says the circular pocket. It's got each step of the program. So you can see in standard code what it's going to do next. You can watch it run through it before you actually run a piece. Make sure that you're in the right position. Should be able to. No, right. It's it's off. Let's see. Now, can you change the feed rate? If you notice right now, okay, you set up your program and you want to just increase it a little bit faster for your setup. Would you be doing that in this mode, or would you wait till it stopped through the whole program and go ahead and reset the different rates? You can actually do it in this mode. You can use the feed rate override to go faster and then keep it back, or even go slower and you'll notice the feed rate changes up here. But in this particular thing, you cannot go faster because that's what we programmed it in already at the fastest rate. So you have your X, Y, and Z readout here. It's all showing you everywhere that it's going through. It's going through each step of the program. Very simple and easy to use. Another great thing, you can save all the programs onto here. Um, if you need to come back to a program at any time, a year later, you can go ahead and just save pocket number 12. And whatever job that you did, it'll come right up set your material up in there, and you can go right back to work where you started from the year earlier. That's what the greatest part of the CNC machine is, is that you come back to it, you can increase your production by doing the same thing over and over again, and you get a really nice uh, repeatability and quality in these types of machines. Now, we have a few different types and sizes. If you'd love to look on our website, sterlingmachinery.com. We have all the different types of machines they carry, all the different specifications, and certain videos on a lot of them. If you want to give us a call, depending on your work, we can definitely help you out. Find out the right machine for you, whether it's a machine center or just a standard mill. We do carry new and used machinery, buy, sell, and trade, so we can help you out any way we can. Check out our website at sterlingmachinery.com. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank Ed. you. Thank you, Adam. Sterling Machinery sells all types of metalworking, fabricating, and chip making machinery such as lathes, metal shears, press brakes, punch presses, punches, grinders, milling machines, saws, plate rolls, iron workers, inspection equipment, welders, and much more.
Sterling Machinery is one of the largest stocking dealers of new and used machine tools in the United States. You can view over 2,000 machine tools available for inspection on our floor or visit www.sterlingmachinery.com to view all machine specifications, photos, videos, prices, and buyer's guides for all types of equipment. If you can't find the machine you're looking for, please give us a call at 626-444-0311 and our educated staff can find the right machine for you. you have surplus equipment for sale? From one machine to entire shops, Sterling Machinery buys all types of equipment. Please contact us today. Thank you and we hope to see you soon. To view more helpful videos along with how-to videos and machinery for sale, please visit www.machinerytube.com.